Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about something super useful for designers. How to create mockups in Figma using easy plugins. But first, let's break down what mockups are and why they are important. A mockup is basically a realistic version of your design that shows what it will look like when used in real life. It could be for a mobile app, a website, or even a physical product. Think of it like a polished version of your design that gives everyone, clients, developers, and even end users, a clear picture of the final product before it's built. So, why do we need mockups? Here are a few simple reasons. Number one, clear communication. Mockups help you explain your design ideas to clients or teammates. Instead of just talking about it, they can see exactly what it will look like. Number two, early feedback. By showing a mockup, you can get feedback early on in the process. This lets you make changes before development, saving time and effort later. Number three is user testing. Mockups also help when testing how real people interact with your design. It's easier to see if something works when it's shown in a realistic way. And number four is marketing and presentations. Once your mockup is ready, you can use it to showcase your work in presentations or even marketing materials. It makes everything look professional. So in today's video, I'll show you how to create mockups right inside Figma using some simple plugins. These tools make it easy to turn your designs into realistic previews, whether you need to show them on devices like phones and tablets or create something more advanced like 3D models. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before that, if you're interested in a career in UI UX, join an immersive UI UX certification program and become an expert in just five months. The course offers live online classes led by renowned faculty from IIT Bangalore. Get hands on with capstone projects, craft your portfolio and dribble, and receive personalized coaching on top designer tools. And the best part, Simply Learn's job assistance is here to support your journey every step of the way. Enroll now and unlock endless possibilities in the realm of UI UX. The course link is in the description box and pinned comments. So let's jump in and start creating some awesome mockups. Okay, let's start with the demo. So as you might be having a project, you'll be having your frames. For this demo, I have taken the frames from the Figma community. So number one on the list is Artboard Studio Mockup. So it's a powerful plugin in Figma that allows you to create realistic mockups using pre-built templates of devices. It's simple to use and comes with both free and premium options. So here's how to get started. So open Figma and you can go to the plugins and browse plugins in community like this. So you have to search for Artboard Studio Mockups and install the plugin. So once installed, you can find it by going to plugins. And then you will find Artboard Studio mockups like how I can find and then launch it. So after launching the plugin, you'll be able to browse through various device mockups such as phones, tablets and laptops. So these mockups are designed with both light and dark themes. Now you can filter the templates to see only free items because here it's a combination of paid items which you will get it in the premium version and free items. So you can filter the templates to see only free items by selecting the free filter from the menu. So right now I can only find this free. So let's create a mobile app design. So we'll select a phone mockup that fit the project. Let me just arrange this for clarity. So once selected, the mockup will appear on your Figma canvas like this, which is ready to be customized. So as you can see, each mockup comes with frame where you can place your design. So you just have to copy your app screen from your Figma file and paste it into this frame. Like for example, you can just copy this and paste it here. So if your design doesn't fit perfectly like this into the mockup, you don't have to worry. You can adjust it by using the scale tool to resize your design so that it fits within the frame. So just press K and here you can actually, you know, check the dimension. Like for example, the dimension of iPhone 2 is 402 into 874. So you can change the dimensions. Either you can do it that way or you can manually resize it also like this. Uh, I think it's done. No, it's not. Yeah. But I, I personally think it's easier to, you know, give dimensions. It's easier to adjust that way. So you can similarly do it for this frame also. Now let's work on this frame. We'll copy this frame, paste it over here. I'll just show you. So here the dimension is 402, 874. So let's give it here. 
So now this perfectly fits. Yeah. So once your design is placed correctly, now click the frame again and select render selected frame. Click the frame and then select render selected frame. You have to just wait for a moment. So the plugin will generate a rendered mockup as you can see with the device and your design in place. I'll just zoom it up for you. So you can export. So once you're satisfied with this mockup, you can export the file. They export the mockup as a high resolution PNG or a JPG. So you can export the mockup as a high resolution PNG or JPG. You can use the export function in Figma and make sure to select a high quality for a crisp and clean mockup. So Artboard is basically used because it provides a fast way to generate realistic device mockups as you have seen without needing to manually create them. And you get a professional presentation with minimal efforts making it perfect for client work, portfolios or marketing material. Now Clay Mockups 3D is another useful plugin that helps you visualize your designs in 3D. So you can rotate and position the mockups to showcase your design from different angles. So for that also you can go to plugins and you can search for Clay Mockups 3D. And again, install it. I have already installed it, so I have it over here. So after launching the plugin, select the device you want to use for your mockup. So you'll find various options like iPhones, iPad, MacBook, or you know, you can do it in blank in a browser or anything. So for example, let's select iPhone itself because we have an app frame. Now you have to select the Figma frame you want to showcase and click load frame in the plugin. So this is the frame. And as you can see, your design will be placed on the selected device. Now, the best part about Clay Mockups 3D is that it lets you rotate the device to showcase your design from different angles. So you can manually rotate it in 3D space or use the preset camera angle. So this is perfect for creating dynamic views of your mockups, showing how they would look like in real life from various perspectives. Now, as you can see, you can also change the device color to match your brand's theme. For example, you can switch from white to black or use custom colors here to highlight certain aspects of your design. So there are also options for lighting and shadow effects which add to realism of the mockup. So once you're satisfied the design, again, you can export it by saving as an image. The plugin will generate a high quality image of your mockup with all the customizations you have applied. Now Figma community is a vast resource where designers share their UI kits, templates, mockups, and more. So you can easily find pre-made mockups that suit your project or use UI kits as starting points for your design. So you can just go to Figma community and you can search for different mockup templates by just typing mockups over here. And you can browse through the available options. Many designers offer free and paid mockup templates so complete with device frames and background. For example, you can find mockups for iPhones or Android, Mac and even smartwatches. So once you find a mockup or UI kit, you just have to click duplicate to add it to your Figma workspace. And now you have the access to all the layers and components allowing you to fully customize the design. So you can just open this in Figma. You can go to devices. And as you can see, these are different mockups. So you can just select, you can even go for iPad if you want. You can just control C or command C, go to your workspace and yes, your mockup is ready. And as already shown before, you just have to select the frame resize it and save it, that's it. Now to take your mockups to the next level, let's add some animation using Jitter. Now Jitter is an online tool that allows you to create quick and simple animations without any coding. So for that, we have to go to jitter.video. Now Jitter is a web-based tool, so you don't need to download any software. You can also sign up for free to save and export your projects. So Jitter integrates smoothly with Figma, so you can import your designs directly. So inside Jitter, you can click on import and choose the Figma option. Choose open in Figma. Go to untitle. Unfortunately, I forgot to save my file. Press run. After that, you can select a frame. I'll select the first frame. Copy it. And then click open in Jitter. So once you have imported your design, you can animate specific elements. So you can click on any part of your mockup, such as a button, text or image. And you will see animation options like fade in, slide, rotate, zoom and move. For example, let's click this button, go to animate, new animation. See, you can see fade in. You, you can even, you know, adjust the timing. You can fine tune how long each animation takes by adjusting the timing slider. So this is the timing slider. If you want certain elements to animate faster or slower, you can tweak the duration accordingly. So Jitter also allows you to adjust delays between animations so that they don't all happen at once. So like, for example, you could have your logo animate first 
followed by the app interface elements etc so this is a very great tool because animations help you communicate interactions making it easier for your audience to understand how your design works and jitter is simple to use but powerful enough to create professional grade animations without any coding knowledge so i've just given you a rough idea you can you know go through each of the options and explore it's quite simple it's quite easy now the next one is design stripe now design stripe is a fantastic tool for adding custom backgrounds to your mockups it provides an easy way to create vibrant customizable 3d illustrations and backgrounds that perfectly complement your mockups now design stripe gives you the ability to adjust colors styles and elements making it easy to match the design with your brand or project so first head to design stripe website and sign up a login if you already have an account once logged in, you'll see a wide selection of templates, including various 3D mockups. So let's just go through those templates. Now, to get started, you have to select a 3D mockup template from the Design Stripes library. For example, you might choose a 3D phone or computer illustration. Now, Design Stripe offers a variety of illustration styles like flat, clay style, or high detail 3D renderings. Now, for this demo, let's choose a phone mockup. Now, once the mockup is selected, you can customize different elements. So, as you can see, Use Design Stripe's color picker to adjust the colors of the device and other objects in the scene. So you can change the background, for example, device frame, or even customize small details like shadows and highlights. You can also add or remove objects around the device, such as plants, tables, or whatever is present. And in this way, you can design the background. Now our next step is to add the design into this mockup, right? So just click here. And now what you have to do is you have to go back to your Figma and export the frame or screen that you want to place. For example, I'm on this frame, so I'll select this frame. I'll go to export, export option, and just export the file. So this is the option to export. It's in the right bottom of the page. I've already exported. So now you can just upload that image. Perfect. I even don't have to do any adjustments. This is just perfect. But then if you want, if you have any issues, you can adjust the size and alignment of your design so that it will fit perfectly with the 3D device. So if needed, you can also tweak the angle of the 3D mockup or change the perspective to highlight different parts of your design. So once you're happy with the look of the mockup, you can export it as a high resolution PNG. Let's just apply and see. Wow, this is just cool, isn't it? Now you can just export it. So Design Stripe is a really cool tool because you can modify everything from colors to scene elements, giving you full control over how your mockup will look like. And the plugin allows you to quickly generate high quality 3D visuals that add depth and realism to your mockups. And even without any 3D modeling knowledge, you can create stunning professional looking 3D mockups for your design. And that's a wrap for today's demo on creating mockups in Figma. I hope this video gave you some insights into how easy and effective mockup creation can be. Remember, mockups are a great way to showcase your design vision and make a lasting impression. If you found this video useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.